So who will be the next quarterback of the Cincinnati Bearcats? Mm. Evan Prater and Ben Bryant are battling that out at fall camp. Yeah, and sports anchor Caleb Noe is battling the heat at fall camp as well. He was at practice again this morning. So Caleb, are they any closer at all to naming the actual new quarterback? Well, you know, I think it's still pretty wide open at this point. We talked to head coach Luke Fickle after practice today, and he even said himself that it's gone a little bit back and forth here early on in fall camp. He said both guys have shown some upside and they've shown what they're capable of. But one thing I thought was interesting was at one point he was specifically talking about Evan Prater and the upside that he brings to the table. When he took a step back, Luke Fickle did, and he kind of digressed for a second. He was like, this is going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. So that, among other things he said, leads me to believe that this really is wide open right now, and they want this to be less of a decision for the coaching staff and more of a case where one of those guys, Ben Bryant or Evan Prater, legitimately proves that he is worthy and capable of being the next quarterback at the University of Cincinnati. The amazing thing is they're two incredible competitors. I don't think if you didn't know any difference, you could look out here and see that they aren't you know, helping each other and working with each other. You know, this isn't like me against you. It's say it's, hey, this is our team and iron sharpens iron and we got to do this and, and do it the right way. All right, one other thing Coach Fickle said after practice is that the biggest factor in his mind in terms of the quarterback competition is going to be decision making, specifically which guy makes the best decisions when under fire in a game like situation. He said they're trying to simulate that in practice for that reason and that's only going to intensify as they start getting into scrimmages later on this week here at Higher Ground. Guys.